Teach Your Toddler to Talk. This is part two of our four-part series. This is how to increase your toddler's exposure to language in your everyday life. So in part one, we talked about teaching your child the importance of talking and how powerful it is in getting your needs and your wants met. So if you missed the first part of our series, please go back and watch that video because it is the foundation for all the things that I will be teaching in parts two through four. So let's think about typical language development. And in typical language development, a child will hear a word in their environment um, and they will hear it used several times. And then as they start to understand how it's used, they will likely start to use the word on their own eventually. Um, but a child with um, difficulties learning language will often need to hear the word many, many more times in their environment um, in many different ways um, before they are able to comprehend hand and use that word again. So because of that, it is very important that the child that is having difficulties with learning language be given so many opportunities to hear the language that is going to be most functional for them to use. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a couple of ways that you can increase your child's opportunity to hear functional language that will help them in their natural environment, something that you can do without any materials at all, to help your child hear more repetitions of words that they need for their functional speech and language. The first way that we're going to do this is to simplify your language. And by your language, I mean you as a parent simplify the way that you talk to your child. And that might sound counterproductive to do that, that you should simplify your language when you're trying to increase the complexity of your child's language. However, it is much more language enriching for a child to hear simple sentences versus long, complicated sentences. And you might think that's odd, but when the child hears a long, complicated sentence, it is difficult for them to figure out which words are functional, what each word means, and they start to lose the meaning, and therefore none of the words make sense to them. If you can make it very short and simple and edited for them, they are more likely to pick up words more quickly. Okay, so how do we do this? How do we do this in our functional environment? Well, instead of telling your child something like, I want you to put the circle block into the box. Instead of saying something really long and complicated like that, let's just say block in, block in, block in, block in. Very good. And when you're saying this, you're saying this to them simplified, but also with multiple repetitions. So now they've heard this several times, three to five times, and you've really emphasized what the most functional words were in that sentence. So a second way that you can really increase your child's exposure to language in your everyday life is to do what I call narrate life. And it's just exactly what it sounds like. So instead of your car rides being silent, narrate life. So if you see a big dump truck on the side of the road, say, see truck, big truck, bye truck. And, and say these several times. So they're really hearing the word truck. They're hearing some descriptors. Um, they're hearing you talk. You're getting extra language time while you're in the car when you might normally be silent. Um, same thing like when you're getting dressed. You can say things like shoe on, sock on, tie shoe, shirt on, backpack on. All of these these. Um, clothing names and um, some prepositions on. Um, you can later add like put shoes on, um, that kind of things, but we're really simplifying it so that they hear again those most important words and they can know which words are most important for them to first of all understand and then also imitate back. Um, and so at first this may not feel incredibly natural um, but over time, as you do it more and more, it will start to feel more and more natural and you will definitely see the benefits of it in your child's speech and language. Join us next time for part three of Teach Your Toddler to Talk.